Hi, my name is Brandon Denault, and I'm going to talk to you about my transect study of Harriet Tubman Square in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm sure you all know the story of Harriet Tubman, and in this area, there is a small square dedicated to her achievements. The monuments in this area were funded by various groups throughout the city of Boston that are all named on this plaque that's located in the square itself. Another great feature in this area is the perfect view of the Prudential and the Hancock Tower off in the distance. In giving you the information of the study, I want you to be able to understand the space without actually going there. On this map, the blue begins to show the different levels of pedestrian movement, while the green highlights levels of vehicular movement, and the orange in the bottom left shows the square itself which is a gathering space for people in the area. As you can see by these maps from 1872 and 1946, the layout appears to be fairly consistent, which leads me to believe that the functions have also stayed consistent through the years. This painting, titled Rainy Day, Columbus Avenue, Boston, depicts South Boston in 1885, and you are able to see row houses, most of which still exist today, and currently inhabit residents. Perhaps the key feature is the square, where it is common for people to take a seat and relax on a nice day, either by themselves or with friends. Now that I've told you what you'll see at this area, I want to move on and tell you who you'll be seeing in this area. As I did my study, I found that most of the people in the area were younger, especially younger couples. The interesting thing I found was that most of them had dogs tagging along with them. After doing some more walking around, I stumbled upon Carlton Court Dog Park. At this point, all the dogs in the area started to make more sense because there was a place nearby where they could all gather together and have some fun in an open area. Getting back to the people, there were a lot of couples around that had young children going along for the walk with them, but also there were a good amount that had both children and dogs with them. Looking back at this information, I decided that most of the people that populate the area are younger couples that are in the process of starting a young family of their own. Now I will conclude your virtual tour of Harriet Tubman Square in Boston, Massachusetts, and I hope you now have a good sense of our rich historical city without having to leave your computer screen.